Welcome to Sitecrete Pro Tips, Thin Concrete Slab Repairs. Here we've got a typical slab. I've got a pop out that's close to half an inch deep. And then I've got some scaling represented at the front of the slab. To repair this project, we've selected Sitecrete Top and Bond because it is designed for feather edge up to half an inch repairs. It's heavily polymer modified and at 28 days, you're gonna be bumping 5,000 PSI strength or greater. So this patch is actually stronger than most of the concrete you're gonna repair. So because Top and Bond contains a polymer, we don't do a primer coat. Instead, we've brought the slab to SSD with plain water. So this slab is ready to repair. We've already mixed up some patch. And all you're going to do is place it into the area to be patched. Notice I'm tapping. What I'm doing is I'm rotting the material. Rod your material into the lowest part of the repair, and you're good to go. Trial in place. Now, because top and bond can go feather edge, you'll notice I'm pulling it tight. It will, it will absolutely bond to all of these thinned areas and onto the concrete. In the case of the scaling, that's these little divots. Always double check to make sure you don't have loose surface underneath. Quick way to do it is a hammer at the house, piece of rebar, whatever. Once you've determined it's a good sound surface, you're ready to do the exact same process to repair all of these small divots. In that case, I don't try to fill it per hole. I just lay out a bead of material and take my trowel and work it through the whole surface. So we've put down the patch. I'm letting it dry just a little bit to where I don't see the, the water sheen. Then I'm going to broom the surface to make it match the existing concrete. On small projects, you can use a paintbrush, dry paintbrush. And that's it. Let it set 24 hours before you lease it into foot traffic. And this concrete repair is done.